How is everyone? Welcome back to me YouTube live. So basically today I am going to be doing my jersey collection of all my Celtic jerseys I have over the years. So we have the Umbros, the Nikes, the New Balances, they're all in it. I have a load of jerseys is what we're all going to see. So let's let's kick it off and show you what I have, okay? Let's flip the camera around. Oof, a lot. A lot of jerseys, you know. I've been collecting Celtic jerseys since I'm about the age of 12 obviously i'm um, looking looking back to my first ever celtic jerseys this one here this bad boy here signed by stinian petchoff um 2002 2004 obviously we changed the second season we went to carlin but um obviously the road to seville cracking jersey absolute great moments to train the top there as well so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to place the camera back on the dashboard and I'll talk about the jerseys what they've done moments in them players that they relate to stuff like that and let me know what you think on the youtube live whoever watches after the youtube live it'd be nice to get a couple of comments off you as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed so look at pretty good collection took about 40 minutes to do all this out to be honest with you so these are a quite um good audience to entertain so let's see how he's got on i know i know that youtube channels have done this but i thought i'd do my own brand of you know talk about it so um let's turn the camera back around and get this all sorted so i'm going to take the earphones out let me know if you can all hear me let me know comments below as well so let me know if you can all still hear me yet yeah. if you can't i'll shout anyway i'll just shout while i have my cup of tea and go through the jersey collection so i'm going to start from the bottom up and we obviously get, get them all folded as well because it's going to be a cleanup job so let's go, let's go. Fourth one. Um 2005 tour jersey. Nakamura scoring against Hibbs in this jersey. Petch off few um few moments in this. I got this off Go Kits. Go Kits are a good um name on Instagram. If you haven't seen the page, have a look. Basically sent me this. Um I just literally felt the thunders with the card on it. I like it. I'll be honest with you, L10. Probably give it about seven probably a seven i just think the material in it for nike or that four season thought they could have done a bit better you know the so um they obviously the hips away there's a moment in that um we move on we move on now these are i'm not doing it by year and order i'm just gonna say, say how it is so this is the 2012 13 jersey one of my favorite jerseys so i'll just put it closer to the camera so you can all see it um celtic cross Celtic Crest and Sides. This cost me 70 euros at the time in the Celtic shop in Dublin. Pretty nice jersey. Very hard to maintain because it's white. So um, it's really thick material as well. It's meant to be vintage. So that's the whole point of it. Celtic done a nice advert for it. For the history of it. So obviously what I liked about it was the Nike was white. So I couldn't have made that camouflage. Couldn't have made that camouflage. Couldn't have like. You couldn't you could only pick out the crest and that was it. So obviously good moments in this. You look at like. Samra scored against Hearts when they presented in Celtic Park. Um, Dundee, United away, Tony Watt and Miku. And then Gary Hooper and Samra scored against Dundee FC on Christmas or Boxing Day, you could say. So that was a good jersey. L10, I'll give that a 9. I just think the tale of Nike football, they done very, very good. Very um, Still quite good, still in quite good nick. A couple of stitches there and then, but that happens with every football jersey, you know. So that's a 9 out of 10. Good old jersey. So, like, put all these on the little fold, the folding cabinet. So, yep. And um, next one we move on to is one of the fans' favourite from the same season is the 2012 13 away jersey. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a short sleeve. I had a long sleeve. I didn't get the... What a lot of people liked about this jersey was the troy colours and the sleeves. The troy colour was absolutely immense. Now, the, the, the tenons are starting to fall asunder on me. But that season, we wore the tenons under the crest, small version. Only in this jersey, we wore the tenons like that. And the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper ones as well. But what a nice jersey, real smart tailor. Obviously, the crest on it was unbelievable. The feel, it was real light as well. Obviously, good moments in this jersey. A Champions League campaign, Spartak Moscow. Um, winning the Scottish Cup against Hibs as well, the 3-0. You know, 
obviously um, scoring in Benfica as well. Unfortunately, we went out to Juventus, we wore this jersey, but this was a cracking top, you know. Really was a good top. And what I'd say about an actual grade out of 10, I'd give this a 10 out of 10. I just think it was light. It looked nice, pretty okay. So let's move on um, from the same season, 2012-2013. This is the belter. This is an absolute belter. It's probably my favourite Celtic home jersey of all time. Be up there, definitely. Like, I know we've had cracking ones, but this one, what makes it different to all the, the hoops is small hoops. Like, we only got the hoops in 1903, but the way Nike Football done the, the hoops on it was unreal. Obviously, we all know what year. This is a double winning jersey. The night that we first stand out was Wanyama. What? Barcelona, 2-1, what a famous night, iconic night, long sleeve, I have Larson on the back of it, the reason why I went with Henrik Larson is because of um, 125 years anniversary, I thought I'd pick a, a noble player out from the club, and so I went with Henrik Larson, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, there's no question that, it's still in great nick, there's no stitching problems, I used to love, I used to love wearing that, still wear it the odd time, but the beer belly is a bit too much for it, so um, yeah, we move on. This is another favourite one. Now, this is not the official jersey from the year, but it's, a, it's remastered. This is the 1988 centenary, uh, centenary, sorry, centenary jersey. Jesus, getting the words wrong. So, to see our Smith, obviously the first player you think of. Well, two players that stand out for me in this jersey would be Tommy Bournes and Paul Max Day. We had some great team that day, that season, obviously. Frank McAvenny up front, um, some cracking players, like, you know, unbelievable. Obviously, Mick McCarthy played for him as well. So, yeah, we won the double. We beat Dundee United in the final that um that season, and we won the league as well. So, cracking times. Obviously, think of Paul McStay scoring against the Huns and Oibrox with that jersey on. But I got that as a gift. That was a gift from Free Retro, so that was a pretty nice jersey. I love wearing it as well. Absolute belter. Pure belter. So, um, move on. This one here, treble, the treble winning jersey, you could say, 2001, 2003, um, obviously, we think of Larson, I think of Larson, I think of some great players that wore this jersey, Dillian Petchoff, Bobo Balde, Neil Lennon, um, Paul Lambert, um, Johan Mialbi, Sean Maloney, oof, John Hart and Chris Sutton, you know, the, the names just go on, and scoring in this jersey. Which was absolutely class. So um, this was unbelievable. You know, I thought it was a bit heavy. You know, it is a bit heavy. I had in long, I had in short sleeve as well, and I gave it away to a good friend of mine. But this is a pretty good jersey. L10, probably give it about seven. I just think a bit heavy, but it's a nice jersey. Nice fit. NTL looks quite good, and the Umbro done a good job. But seven out of ten, that was a good moment in that. So yeah, that's a good one. Right, um, following season. Basically, wore this jersey in Seville, but we used the NTL sponsor. So, the 2003 slash 4 jersey. This was Henry last season wearing the hoops. I put a video up here on Instagram of him crying at his, his last press conference with Celtic, domestic press conference in the, the SPL. What a jersey. Um, obviously, we all think of Seville, long sleeve hoops. The reason why the hoops is iconic on this, this is 100 years of hoops, this jersey. I think. You've done a great job, Umbro. Like, really, really good job. Quite quite still in good nick after all these years. So, um, I'd give that a, probably an 8 out of 10. I just think there should have been more brew from improving. But you know what? It's a light jersey. It's pretty, pretty good. But let's move on to the following season. Um, Jackie McNamara's last season. Then this this was the 2004 5 um, Scottish Cup winners. Jersey, obviously we were unfortunate to lose on Helicopter Sunday to the Huns, but Scott McDonald, damn you. But <laughs> this was a crack of a jersey. Obviously, um played Barcelona in the in the campaign, Shakhtar in the Champions League as well. Um I just like this. I love the pin, the pins and the, the actual jersey itself. I don't know if you can see it, but this was a we obviously had some weird players that season. We had like the likes of Omri Camera and um Janino and all playing for us and Bellamy came on in January as well. But that was a pretty good jersey. I just felt it felt I felt better than the pre the previous season. So I'll give that a nine out of ten. The only the only bad thing I'd say is the Carlin was over over US, but look at 
heavy football jersey can't stay in good nick, you know. You wear it so many times, it's gonna wear and tear, you know. So um good good performance by Umbro. Uh move on to this one. This is well before my time. This is well before I got into football. This was given to me last year as a gift. Smell the glove. Smell the glove. The 97 to 99. Obviously, players that come out. Henrik's fourth season at Celtic. Simon Donnelly. Um, Paul Lambert. Obviously, um, God bless him. Phil O'Donnell. You know, some good players. Some some really good players, you know. I'm not gonna pronounce half because I get them wrong. So yeah, obviously Tom Tom Boyd and stuff like that. Uh Borley as well. So this was a good jersey. Real light. Umbro done a really, really good job in this. I'd give this a 10 out of 10. I think this is such a remastered jersey. I love the way that the Celtic was done in it. And the most best thing about it is the crest. You can see the crest. If you see there, you can see the crest, the way it's designed in the background. Umbro done a fantastic job on that. That's a 10 out of 10. What a jersey. Absolute belter of a top. I love wearing it. Pure old school. Old school. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one as well. Um, we won a couple of couple of trophies in this jersey. Neil Lennon's first proper managerial team, you could say. And 2000 and, was it 2010 to 2012 jersey. Obviously won the Scottish Cup in 2011. Um, Gary Hooper. When I when I think of this top, I think of Scott Brown. I have Izagiri in the back of it. The media on it. Izagiri. The reason I got Izagiri on this one is because when he got his leg break against Aberdeen, I thought I said, you know what? I love the I love this jersey. I'm gonna get Izzy on it. So um, I love this absolute belter of a top. So um, yeah, I love this. L ten probably annoying. Um, I just. I like the design, I just don't know, I just thought there was something missing on it, you know, something missing, I just probably because of the change of going from Carlin to Tennant was a big difference, you know, but uh, that was a nice one, that was pretty a nice one there, I have to say, uh, move on, the 87 to 89, I think this is, this is a remastered by C.R. Smith, this is a belter, absolute belter, I only got this a couple of months ago, Um, good times in this one as well, Obviously in the late eighties we had good memories in this. Nice tailor to it as well. Obviously Umbra was a, the kiss to at the time, but really good job. L ten probably seven, you know. I, I like vintage jerseys, but I'd rather you know some better ones out there. Here's one that a lot of fans love. This is the um, one of the most iconic away jerseys of all time. Celtic could ever bring out the Black Magic. Black Magic two thousand and three to oh five day present at the time but it was a pretty good jersey very impressed with it i'm obviously bellamy wore it as well in his second when well, he said well the second season that we got him so it was pretty good obviously balwell balde comes to me head stinian petrov scoring against kamarnik away so they sell 10 10 10 like it's still in good nick still doing quite good carlin's doing sharp on it you know it's pretty good so i have to say i was enjoy enjoyed that one there big time Good times in that one and um, we move on we'll move on to this one here the we've only wore this a couple of times we wore this about three times i think this is the 50 years lisbon tour jersey so pretty nice color and um, good result against hibs in the semi-finals of the league cup i think it was four two musa score two musa score two lustig score two it was actually belt of a day they all wore the green kit neil lennon was against us for Hibs managerial, but that uh, that out of ten probably seven. Um, the reason why seven, it's just it's not the it's not one of these away jerseys you're gonna pick out straight away from the wardrobe. You know, I just thought new with New Balance, you couldn't you can wear the wear the jersey so many times you fall asunder. So I'd say seven out of ten with that one there. It was nice though, nice. Um, move on. This one, this is a nice jersey. Lenny's last season as a manager um, at Celtic, his first term. So this would have been 2013-14 away jersey. So we wore this in the Champions League campaign against AC Milan. Um, didn't wear it against Barcelona, but this was a pretty pretty good jersey. We got we, we gave uh, Kamarnik a good smashing in this. Temu Puki wore it as well a few times as well. But uh, this is a nice jersey. Pretty nice. Magnus was quite good in it. The pins going across it. Samaras doing the, the bone arrow celebration. 
So yeah, this was a nice one. Out of 10, probably an 8. Um, I just don't know. I just don't think it's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's not one of my favourites. The colour is nice on it. Nice done a good job, but I'd say um, an 8 out of 10. So, but it was nice. It was nice. Here is, it was similar to the remastered one. This is my first ever Celtic top. 2002 to 2004. So, Dillian Petra signed it for me a couple of years. Um, Stuttgart, Celta Vigo, all in this jersey. Good times. NTL Home Digital. Obviously, that was my first jersey. My man paid 20 euros for it at the time, the week before Seville. Doesn't fit me anymore. Doesn't fit me because, obviously, got older, got a beer belly. But that out of 10, the, that bad boy, 10. 10. Good. Very proud wearing it, you know. Most Celtic fans will be. Of East and the road to Seville, so that's a 10 out of 10, absolute top notch. So, yeah, um, this one was New Balance's tour, first kit, first tour kit, the 2015 16, absolute sh lovely jersey, cracking jersey, but the Magnus felt the Sunders on it, like most New Balance stuff. New Balance, obviously, we think of games and this against Ajax away, the two all game, Griffith scoring a few penalties. Bad moments and it was against Malmo. Obviously, the Malmo result haunts us. That L10, a 5. A 5, I just think. Absolute shambles. The print on it has fallen to Sunders. The feel of it. It's just a letdown. It's just a cheap make jersey. So, New Balance, I'm very disappointed I was. I like the crest. I like the New Balance tailored on it. But the rest of it was just shocking. So, um, that's a 5 out of 10. I thought I'd, I never thought I'd go for that rating. But it is what it is. Right, let's move on. And um, here's a New Balance jersey. Um, pretty good. This is a good moments. Obviously, gets Hibs away. We got our. We recorded a Europa League away victories in this jersey against Rosenberg, Scott Sinclair. So this is a pretty good jersey. I actually a big fan of this. With K KT in the back of it. Um, New Balance did a good job. Um, out of ten, I'd probably give it about an eight. I have to say very impressed. I like the way that it, the shade went on it. So pretty impressed with that I was. So eight out of ten. Doing decent there, New Balance for a change compared to the previous one. That was shocking. Right, let's move on. Um ah, this one. This one was worn too much by me. This was the um Manchester City away jersey, the black, black and gold. Um McDade on the back of it. Kieran and McDade that passed away a couple of years back. Um I thought as a respect to the Celtic fan, they get his name on the back of it. I don't know him personally. I didn't know him personally, but to the club, it's done bet. But Sunders, probably give it about a six. You know, probably give it a six. I just thought it was cheap. Could have done real for an improvement, but it was good moments in it. Good moments in the black and gold jersey. So, yeah, that was pretty decent. Um, Nakamura, 2006 to 8 jersey. Now, I was one of these fat, I was one of these people. If the card didn't feel right and then it was peeling off, I was peeling off, you know. This was a great jersey. Obviously, Manchester United away, free kicks, uh, made a good campaign this jersey. Um Nakamura scoring in Kamarnak twice. Obviously sealed the victory that time with the free kick. Unbelievable. What a jersey. Some great players played this. Obviously, Lenny's last season, Longsleeve, um, John Kennedy, um, Jan Venegar Hasseling, Scott McDonald. Yarosik, Avanda Snow, um, I said McManus, Darren O'D, some good players we had, some really good players we had with this jersey. So this out of ten, a bit annoying. I just said, as I said, the ten, the card and felt the Sunders on it. That's the only thing I say bad about. But the overall look of the jersey was pretty good. The colour was good on it. The eighty and eighty eight, the back of it, I was very impressed. But I thought Knight done a really good job on that. You know, it still feels nice to wear. Pretty good. So I give that a nine out of ten. That was pretty decent. So the collection's going so far. It's going quite well. Um, I only got this recently. It's not a jersey. It's not. A, this is a training top. This is from the uh, Seville area. Pretty good. Thanks very much, Sean. Sean Jones for this. This is um a belter. This was a pretty good one. This is swinging on me. This is like an extra large, but you know what? I love it. I love the way it is. I give it about seven out of ten. I just think the material is a bit cheap. Real cheap, but you know what? It looks nice. You know, it looks nice. Umbra were such a dominant force for kiss suppliers then that generation. So 
Seven, seven out of ten. Not much to talk about that one. Right, we move on. Um, let's go over to this one here. This one here. So, this is the 2010 slash 11 away jersey. I got it without a sponsor on it. I got this for cheap enough. I got this towards the end of the, that season. Um, good moments, obviously. Moment that obviously bad mo memories is the Neil Lennon attack of Ollamont Castle. But this was a good jersey. Chris Commons gave me a good, good few memories in this when he came in in January. He scored a good few belters against Kamarnik. And actually, this washes quite well. If I used to wear this in goal, I would say this out of 10, probably a 9. A 9, you know, it was quite light, cheap, pretty good. Nike done another outstanding job, so. A 9 out of 10, Nike, well done, well done. Uh, move on, this one here. This is the 2000, this is the 40 year anniversary away jersey. Look at the Carlin, Carlin's fond of Sunders on it. Good moment, San Siro, um, qualified for the Champions League last 16 in this jersey. Player always sticks out to me is Donati with this for some reason. Donati and McDonald's, Samaras as well. This was pretty nice. I love this jersey. I love the tail at the crest. You know, the crest was pretty good on it. Another good job, Nike. Out of 10, so the card and the fault of Sunders, about 6. 6, you know. The dark green looks really good on Celtic tops. You know, pretty, reminds us back to the away days, you know. The early away days of the like to jink, you know. So that was pretty good. We right, move on. This is one of my favourites, but thanks to my best friend, Danny, he ruined this jersey. So this was our last year of Nike. This was the tour jersey. Jersey is an absolute belter. But in stains is in the reason why John Gadetti is because at the time John Gadetti um was a free print in the Celtic shop in Dublin. So as you know what, I'll get John Gadetti on it. Um not many games we played in this domestically, not many. We had a couple of free seasons against um it was a rap at Vienna. We played obviously away against a Croatian team in the Europa League. Chris Gorman scored and Spekovic, or Spekovic was it or something like that. Scored. So um yeah. Nice jersey, really nice but very hard to maintain the cleanness of it. Um about seven out of ten. Really like as I said the look of it is amazing but to maintain this jersey was impossible. You can see the stains on it. So um yeah poor Guinness Guinness got a hole so just destroyed it. So yeah we move on. Um this one here, the fourth broken hoops, New Balance. This is where the New Balance start losing their respect again. This one here, the treble, treble, the treble, treble. Nice jersey, really nice jersey. The only thing was the broken hoops. If it went all out hoops, would have been happy with it. So um, I love this jersey. Obviously, go what? Did, I just think of Edward scoring against Hearts twice. And done a good New Balance, a little checkered squares on it, but it was nice. Out of ten, probably about an eight. You know, I just think the broken hoops was a bit of a nightmare. But the overall, the um, the bits of black going down was quality, absolute quality. So, an eight out of ten. And um, move on. New Balance, New Balance forced hoops jersey, absolute disaster. Was this? Look at that. Look at that. Now this was a nice jersey. Griffith scored forty plus goals in it. Ronnie Doyle's last campaign. The jersey fell to Sunders. You know, I, this jersey had to be reprinted three times. Three times being reprinted. It was nice. Very slim fit though. It's like because I was putting a beer belly on, but very slim fit. Um, out of 10, has to be five. I just, too much trouble, troubles with it. It was a nice looking jersey, but overall to wear that as a, as a customer to New Balance and Celtic, horrendous. Horrendous. A lot of people will agree with me. Look at the state of that, like. You know, it's weird if I never took the bleeding thing off. It was washed so many bleeding times. So, yeah, that was a bit of a weird one. But we move on. Um, we we'll go for another Nike one. Let's see what we have here. This was given to me. This is a player fit jersey. The Kamarnik. The Kamarnik one. Look at it. There you go. European player fit. So, um, this is officially real. The difference between this and the replica your boy from the Celtic store is. The crest is actually this one. The crest is printed on, and how you know it's different between these to other ones. I'll just show you now. The air holes as well. Where the hell? Here's your air holes. You got the air holes, and there was something else that was different. 
that was spotted to me as well. So I don't know if you can see this here. This is the official print of a Nike. So you got your player fits and you got your replicas, but this was a nice jersey. Obviously, we had a couple of games in the Europa League campaign that season against Atletico Madrid, Indonesia and stuff like that. Obviously, the Camarnock result was one of our favourite moments in this jersey. Obviously, we smashed hips away a few times as well. And that's how you know it's different player fit. Now, these are on the shoulder blades. Overall, this jersey, I'll tell you, to wear. We only wore it last night. I'd say about nine. Pretty, pretty nice to wear. Loads of air holes. I never bought a couple of them seasons. And you know what? Couldn't buy every jersey. You can't afford to buy every jersey. So um, let's move on. A lot of people like this one. This is a good one by New Balance. Give New Balance appreciation on this. This one was a beast. This when I think of this jersey, I was thinking of James Forrest hat trick against um against St Johnson. This was a belter, a Celtic cross, very similar to the one I first show you. Star inside it, um felt good. The Dolphin bet was a decent size on it. Pretty nice, you know. Pretty nice. I have to say, very impressed with this one. I was washes quite well, feels nice on. It's got cheap feeling. So out of ten, I'd give this a nine. I really would. I don't think it's a ten out of ten, but look, looks wise. Pretty nice, pretty nice, so yeah, pretty decent. Enjoyed that one, enjoyed this year's, you know. Had um, Cork and Nathan in the back of now. The print is my own fault, I've worn it. So uh, yeah, move on to that one. Right, so let me see. Um, This one here, I had, I lost my original one of this. This is the 2005-2007 jersey. We won a League Cup, we won two titles. We got to the last 16 in the Champions League in two consecutive seasons. No, it wasn't one consecutive season. This one here, pretty nice one. Carlin Ripper as well. And thanks to Sean, gave me this. I had a long sleeve. The first ever hoop jersey I bought in Celtic Park was this in long sleeve. But this is a nice jersey. Really nice jersey. John Hartson, Spillian Petchoff, Tomo, um, Derek Royden, you could say, Nakamura. You know, Gravison, you go on McManus, Darren O'D, all these boys, all these boys, you know, Saraski. So this is a good one. Out of 10. So nice and light, it feels good. I know compared to the black one I said at the start, I would give this a 7 out of 10, you know. I didn't like the way that the crest had, I didn't like the way they restructured the crest and like with Total 90. I just rather it was, it was there. But you know, it was nice, it was nice. One season we had to, when we wore over in American pre season, we had to wear the cars light on it. So there's a bit of history with this jersey. Nice, nice, total 90. So we're doing quite well. Um, move on. This one here, not really good, many good moments in it. It's a nice jersey to wear. The 2009, or 2008, 2009, or 2010, sorry. Away jersey. So we think of Scott McDonald scoring against the Horn and Europa League. We got into the Champions League. Scott McDonald scores against Man United in this. But it wasn't the best jersey. Cork and number seven, the back of it held up quite well. Pretty de nice jersey. L ten. About seven. You know, felt good on, but oh, just another card and ripper as well. So that put the mark down on it. Still good nick. Aidan McGeady and stuff, you know. Willow Floods. Willow Floods and all. But um yeah, good it's Tony Fives with that on. Tony Mowby walking guard with it. Right, here's one that a lot of people love. Absolutely idolised this jersey. New Balance's best jersey for Celtic. 50 years, Lisbon. What a top. What an absolute top. Double treble. Feels so smooth on. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. One of the best tops I've ever worn. So light. It's holding up good. New Balance done a really good job in this one. And a lot of people agree. The, black, the, gray, the gold was unbelievable on it. So yeah, 10 out of 10, long sleeve, you know, to, um, Rogic, Edward, Dembele, you know, good moments of this bad boy. So yeah, that was a pretty good one, you know, pretty good one. We're half an hour into this YouTube live, so doing quite well. I know the audience is not the best. Right, here's another player fit. This was given to me a couple of months ago, European away player fit. Bumblebee. My favourite Celtic away jersey of all time. I can never see anyone getting better than this. A lot of people disagree. This is a belter. Absolute belter on top. The difference between the replica, I'll show you, which I will show you in a couple of minutes. Tenants is printed in. Printed in. 
as I showed you with the previous yellow one, it's stamped, it's stamped. So I have to find the stamping on it now to show you. Yes, the stamping. So this is a pretty good one to be honest. Um, I enjoyed this, really enjoyed this top. I love wearing it. So that's a 10 out of 10. Love the Bumblebee. Massive Bumblebee fan. You know. Um, on the Lisbon, another decent one. Craig Gordon on the back of it. Goalkeeper. Love it. Love it. Used to use this for cycling. Crack up a jersey. Good times. L10. Mm. Still holding quite well, I have to say. Feels quite light on. Stretchy as well. Gotta give it. Um, yeah. So that's what the rain of that one is. Oof. Celtic. Celtic jerseys are mountain right up to that size, maybe. I mean, this is this is a pretty nice one. Um, I'm gonna start putting bringing these all down here for her so you can see them all and present them. So let me see. Get this all these all down here so you can see them all better. Um, now obviously you've watched previous videos of me talking about stuff like I always do different presentations and different jersey layouts. This one, what a top, Lubo, Bobby Petter. Neil Lennon, NTL days, cracking, cracking top, cracking top. L10, the 10. Absolutely lovely to wear. Feels nice, looks nice, color slick on it. Really good job, one bro. Really good job. 10 out of 10. There's just an absolute belt at the top, you know. Really, really good. Good to wear. Um, controversial top, the pink one. Love this. Love the color of it. Love the feel of it. Love the make of it. Um, ten out of ten. I know people are like, oh Jesus, Keith, that's a rough. That's a that's a rough one to say. I think this is quite good history behind the ticket and all that. So, really like this one. I only wore it three times. Wore it against Kamarnik and we wore it against wore it against actually wore it four, four times against Hibs as well. A few times you had to get this had to come out of retirement as well. This top did so yeah. Bit of history with it. Pink bad luck though. Now, um, this is another nice one. This is really good, good presentation. But like this one here, remember I'm buying this. I'm excited to sell buying this top. This is a really, really good top. Same, the same season as the yellow one. Really good, really good times. Um, didn't wear it much. We only wore it like three times. We wore it in the League Cup final against Camarnock. We were fortunate we were beaten. I remember wearing the Hamden. Bad day. But overall, the jersey itself, the feel of it was nice. Cheap. Good. Good fit. Probably a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. You're probably saying, why would he give that 9 out of 10 compared to the new bags? I just think the pink one was different. It's really different, you know, really different. But, um, yeah. So, Craig, it sounds like the Craig Marshall. <laughs> the David Marshall. The Ronaldinho. What a, this was one of my favourites. I used to love wearing this down the park. Playing football with the boys. Obviously, great times. We won a Scottish Cup with this. Al Douglas and Gold that, that final. Oh, had to cut that off. So um you had to stare it on there as well. Stare in there. Overall right now ten, probably seven. You know the feel it just umbra went through a new transitional period with more toy jerseys the year. So it's just the, when it got warm it just didn't feel right on. So yeah. That's what I'd give that seven out of ten. Nice nice look jersey. It's just the overall the material and wasn't the best. Um Bumblebee again. There you go. This is the Bumblebee difference as i said it's not fuzzy that's a fuzzy card the other one to print it on card nice jersey absolute belt i love wearing it love wearing them class class i told you the right now that one of these jerseys so um this is the first celtic away top i bought in celtic park when i was a, as a kid belter absolute belter another card and disaster um obviously you wore this a few times against Dunfermline and stuff like that a few pre-seasons um, Aidan McGeady on the back of it. McGeady was top top doll dolled out that day. Really nice to wear. Overall out of ten when this was around when this was fresh. Ten. Belter. Loved it. Even loved having it as a screensaver as well on the phone. Really good. Really good top. So I'm really at the conclusion now. Um oh this is a belter. Really good job, Mike. The colour is kind of fade away because I wore it so much. You could see the you could see the colour, the shade of green there, look, the middle. Wore that much of wear and tear, Carlin. Um, to tell the 2007 8 40 year anniversary Caesar jersey. What a belter, Lars in the back of that as well. Not Lars in the back because I was like, you know, King of Kings, get someone different, you know. 
Um, at the time, I didn't really know much about the Lisbon Lions, to be honest, which is because I only started getting the Celtic season before. I knew who the Lisbon Lions were, didn't know many players. So, brutally honest, at the boy got Henrik on it. So, um, what a what a player, what a player, what a jersey. So like to wear 10 out of 10. That I used to wear that a lot, a lot as a kid. And you know what? Pretty fucking good. Pretty good. And let's see. This season's New Balance jersey. Broken hoops. Brandon in the back of it. Brandon's a legend. God bless his soul. Um, uh, really just a part of six out of ten. I just, I just feel let, I just feel let down by New Balance recently, recent times. I just don't even want to talk about that one. Oh, this one's a belter. Three masks. John Collins, Paul Max Day, you know, good players, good players, you know, Stark, good players that wore this jersey, you know, really, George Cadetti, you know, Simon Domney, Jackie McNamara, the names go on, you know, the names go on, cracking jersey, great job, buddy, masking this, this is a 10 out of 10, it's real iconic, it's a real, like, you know, where to the pole, feel good, in it, you know, it should feel good anyway, in the hoops, but this is a real vintage jersey, so, pretty enjoyed that. And um, we need there, and um, this this season's goalkeeper jersey, really nice, really really good jersey. I enjoy this one. I think it's really nice, real comfortable to wear. Corker ninety in the back of it. Um, L ten probably about an eight, an eight. I just I'm not a big fan of black jerseys, but this would be up there. It's pretty nice. I like the the teal color in it. It's pretty nice. So um, that would have been about an eight L ten. And then the final jersey. Well, actually, I've tried this up there. Final jersey. What is yesterday for the goalkeeper video so this would be the 2001-2003 goalkeeper jersey so Hedman, Douglas, Rod de Seville, Belter, absolute Belter, nice jersey, bit heavy as they would back in them days, Ireland wore the similar jersey in the World Cup, the 2002 World Cup so this is pretty good, pretty good, right now 10 probably about an 8 just because of the weight of it Overall, Taylor jersey, really nice, really nice. And then the final one would be this season's training top. There you go, pretty nice. I should have got the other one. That was a nice one, the air hold in it, or the Bulgaria and all. So that's my jersey collection. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know some people probably skip through the video. I'm like, that's nice. That's not nice. But it is what. Show you the jersey. Let's see if I can double chin out of the way. There's all the jerseys there. Really good times with all these jerseys, as I said. Some bad times, some good times, but wearing the jerseys were phenomenal, as a Celtic fan you do be. But um, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the YouTube live. Let me know what, is, what your favourite top is, and um, I hope to speak to you all soon. Hell, hell, keep yourselves motivated and lift. Speak to you all soon. Up the Celts. Up the Celts.